Yan, we are still sa measurements ha. Um, review tayo konte with the scientific notation doon sa mathematical operations. So let's see if you can still remember what we have learned yesterday. Example number one. Um, so I think I ended with additional, so let's have subtraction. Now, you try first and then let's see if tama yung answer. Let's have the participation. Please do not use your calculator. You try solving it manually. You're done, you can send your answers at chat. Okay. So again, let us see if mga sinend nyo dito ay tama. Ayan. So in subtraction, you need to first ensure that we have the same exponent. So in the given, we have 3.10 times 10 raised to the power of negative 2 minus 8.61 times 10 raised to the power of negative 4. Hindi sila pareho ng um, exponent. So what are we going to do? We will, we will be adjusting one of the given para magkapareho sila. Uh, yung 3.10 times 10 raised to the power of negative 2 as is lang tayo dyan because it's the larger number. We will be adjusting the other one. So how do we adjust? Then we have 8.61 times 10 raised to the power of negative 4. Um, kailangan maging negative 2 siya. Two. Okay? So this is a negative here, a negative exponent, and we need to subtract para mahimo siya negative 2. So pag mag-subtract, where should we move? The decimal point. Left. The left or to the left? Oh, ma'am. Sa left, left. left. Okay, left. to the left. Move tayo ng dalawang beses para maging negative 2 siya. Okay, so we have 1, 2. The decimal will be here now. Let's add 0 here. We may add 0 also sa left sa decimal. So this becomes now 0 0.0861 times 10 raised to the power of negative 2 and we can use it now for the subtraction. Ayan, times 10 raised to the power of negative 2. This is subtraction. And then in, in subtracting this, we'll just copy the exponent and mag-subtract na tayo with the capital letter N. Let's place 0 here. 
para mas madali natin siyang i-minus. So, let's borrow. Okay, that, ayan. So, 10 minus 1 is 9. 9 minus 6 is 3. And then, um, 9 minus 8 is 1. This is 0 minus 0. So, 0. So, 3 minus 0 is 3. So, this is now the correct answer. 3.0139 times 10 raised to the power of negative 2. So, bakit merong iba na hindi, magkapa, hindi pareho sa atin ng answer? What happened here? Then the correct answer is 3.0139 times 10 raised to the power of negative 2. Parang nakalimutan ata yung negative na sign for the exponent. Look at your... Wait lang. And look at your answers again. I think some of you answered 3.014 times 10 raised to the power of 2. Nakalimutan ang negative na sign. Okay. Let me see sino nag-send ang answers dito. By the way, do not forget the times 10 ha. That is very important for the scientific notation. Do not add the exponent right after the capital letter N. So my times 10 pa tayo dyan. Iba, my answer na negative 3. So please check. Um, please check your process. Maybe you missed something sa process. That is why you have different answers. Mm -hmm. Okay, so questions about the addition and the subtraction. Anything na wala pa ninyo na sabtan para atua siyang ulitun. Again, I ended with addition, an example for addition yesterday. That is why my example now is for the subtraction. So, pareho ang rule ha. Pareho ang rule ni addition and subtraction. You need first to ensure that we have the same exponent. If not, you have to adjust one of the given. It will be convenient for you to adjust the smaller number. Okay? And the larger number will be the same as is lang siya. So, pag pareho na sila ng exponent, we can do the operation. You just copy the exponent. And the one that you will subtract is yung capital letter N lang. Okay? And that's for subtraction. Now, let's try the multiplication. So let's try this. You can send again your answers at chat. Let's see if you get the correct answer. Um, in multiplication, in multiplying the capital letter N's class, you may use your calculator. Even, even that is a simple one kasi... Mahaba yung process pag mag-mental math tayo ng um, numbers like this. Again, just send your answers at chat. We have two students here who... Uh, okay, sige. Dami na. <clears throat> Pero those who send their answers at chat have different answers, ha? So please check your process again. I think some of you missed something sa process. <clears throat> Anyway, your chat is being recorded here. 
for your recitation. So, nga, ito nag-start pa dito. Okay. Sige, let's try to solve this one. So, what is our process again for the multiplication of scientific notation? What are we going to do? Anyone who can unmute your microphone? Um, yes, Mariam. What's the first step? First step po, ma'am, is you i-copy po itong um, times 10 raised to the power of 5. I I-add po silang dalawa yung exponent po. Okay. I-add. So if we add this, 5 plus negative 2? Positive 3. Na okay. Very good. Positive 3. So who was that? Si Yan? Yes po, ma'am. Okay. So that's for the exponent. Again, for the exponent class, you just copy the times 10. But for the exponent itself, you have to add the both of them. So 5 plus negative 2. That is positive 3. And then after that, let us multiply the capital letter N. So 6.3 times 2.75. Again, you can use your calculator here whether it's simple or a scientific calculator so 6.3 times 2.75 is 17.325 so this is again 17.325 times 10 raised to the power of 3 is this the final answer no ma no, no, ma 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 okay what's wrong with this the n is the n one and nine. Huh? Okay. Greater than ano Okay. Again, the capital letter n should be one two nine, and this is greater than nine. So we have to adjust. So if we adjust this, where are we going to move the decimal to the right or to the left? Left, po, ma'am. The positive is three. Left. Okay. So this becomes now one point seven three. To 5 times 10. What happened to the, to the exponent? Four, to the power of 4. To the power of 4. Exponent po ng 1. Okay, very good. Pag nag-move ka to the left, and that is a positive na exponent, you will be adding uh, into the exponent. So we move 1, so we just add 1 here. So this is now the correct answer. 1.7325 times 10 raised to the power of... Four. So, let's see. Yung iba, parang three pa ata yung answer. What happened? Hindi na move ang decimal. Let, uh, kindly check you, your, ano, your answers there na sinabit. Iba-iba kayo ng decimal. Though, though parehos, tama, tama yung capital letter N, pero I think I mean, yung, yung exponent ninyo iba-iba. Okay. Let me see it again. Okay, sige. So, yung mga iba yung exponent dito, ano nangyari, class? Ano nangyari sa, ano, sa solving ninyo? Saan kayo sa process ng kamali? Para ano, para ma-check natin ahead of time before tayo mag-quiz next meeting. Um, alin sa process na to yung na-confuse kayo? Para ulitin natin. Wala kayong question, I'll assume na naintindihan nyo ha yung ating topic. Okay, na mali lang lagay sa calculator. Okay. Okay. So na move nyo, na move nyo yung decimal but you forgot to to add the kung pila inyo hang gi move sa inyo hang exponent. Okay. Sige, so be careful, ha? be careful in like moving the decimal point. You should not forget that you also have to adjust the exponent when you move the decimal point. So let us try the division now. 
Okay, na mag-move. Okay, this is the fourth one. Try solving this one. Okay, so what's the first step in the division of scientific notation? Yes, Ian. I-subtract po yung mga exponent. Okay, very good. Let's subtract the exponent. So this becomes now negative 4 minus 2. Negative, negative, six. Six. negative 6. Negative 6 po, po ma'am. Okay, very good. Negative 6. Negative 4 minus 2 is negative 6. Yan. And then, what's the next one? We will be dividing the... N1 and N2 po. Okay, very good. N1 and N2. So, this becomes a 3.74 divided by 1.66 is... Medyo mahaba, no? Um... Since we did not include the significant figures yet, you can you have the option whether to copy everything or to round this off. Pwede ran ninyo na i-answer nga. Tanan class, kopyahon ninyo 2.25, 301, 20, 48. Again, um, this is because we did not yet, uh, we did not yet discuss the significant figures so after this we'll have that the significant figures for the, for the meantime let's copy everything or if na, ang nasend you sa chat is like the round of ninyo okay lang din so this is 2.25301 times 10 raised to the power of negative 6 is this the final answer or or do we need to yes, po. Okay. Yes, po. final final naman Okay, very good. Final answer na ito. So, no need to adjust kasi the capital letter N is already um, following the format which is the number should be from 1 to 9. To 9. Okay, very good. So, tama yung mga sagot nyo dito. It's just that some of you copied everything and then some rounded off the capital letter N. Okay? So, so that's correct. So nakuha nyo na class uh, uh, yung process natin sa mga mathematical operations involving scientific notation? Yes, yes po, ma'am. Ma okay. So you have there the option whether to use your calculator or to do the operation manually. But if ever class um, during sa quiz or sa exam, you have to show your solution then you really have to do the manual computation. So let's see what will happen sa exam or sa quiz. Just, just be prepared. 
Okay? So let's move on. We'll now discuss the significant figures. I believe you are very familiar with this since we are already done with the activity in the laboratory. So sa significant figures class, take notes sa screen. Those zeros that are um, in the left part of the non-zero digits, whether you have there a decimal point or not, are called leading zeros. Again, they are called leading zeros. And syempre, we have there the non-zero digits from 1 to 9. And then another one, we have the so-called in-between zeros. They are zeros uh, found in between non-zero digits. And lastly, those zeros that are on the end part of the given or the number or the data class is called the trailing zero or trailing zeros pag marami sila. Now let's have a review of our rules for the significant figures. Kasi we will be using this one. We will be applying this one even in the computation of the scientific notation. So atuan na siyang i-apply after. So these are the guidelines. Number one, any digit that is not zero is significant. So do not forget, the numbers from one to nine, they are all significant. So for example, you have there 845 centimeters. All of them are non-zero digits. Thus, they are all included in the counting of the significant figure. So we have there three significant figures. So that is also true for the second given. Even if you have there the presence of the decimal point, but since they are all non-zero digits, they are all significant. So we have there four significant figures for the 1.234 kilograms. Another one, zeros between non-zero digits are significant. Again, zeros between non-zero digits are significant. So they are called the in-between zero. So those uh, that are found in between non-zero digits, like 606 meters, Siyempre, the six there, the, uh, the six there are significant, but we have zero in between, pero kay in between man siya, significant siya. So we have there three significant figures. So that is also true for the second na example, 4,501 kilograms. So we have one, two, three, four, five significant figures, including... Ma'am, naka-mute po ka, kayo. Sorry, na eh. Again, 40,501. We will be counting all the non-zero non digits. And i-add natin yung mga zeros in between. That's number two guideline or number two na rule. Next, zeros to the left of the first non-zero digits are not significant. This is actually referring to the leading zeros, okay? So the purpose of the zeros to the left is actually to indicate the placement of the decimal point. However, again, they are not significant. The leading zeros are not significant. So example, 0 0.08 liters. Ang 8 lang dyan class ang significant. Lahat ng leading zeros, hindi yan sila significant. Even in the next example, kahit marami ka masyadong zero dyan, but they are leading zeros, hindi pa rin sila significant. So only 3, 4, and 9 are significant. Thus, here we have 3 significant figures. Okay? So review na lang ito kasi we are done with this sa laboratory. So if a number is greater than 1, then all the zeros written to the right of the decimal point count, count as significant figures. Actually, we are referring here sa trailing zero. So just like this one, 2.0 milligram has two significant figures. The presence of the decimal point there uh, makes the Trailing zero significant. So, ito, in between zero na ito, 
in between kasi siya sa 4 and sa 6, dalawa sila even if you have a decimal in between. So lahat sila counted. Thus, 40.062 has 5 significant figures. So that is also true with the third na example. 3.040 decimeter. Meron siyang apat na significant figures. We have two non-zero digits. We have one in between zero. So that's counted. And we have a trailing zero there. But we have the presence of the decimal point. So it will be counted as significant. Now, if a number is less than one, then only the zeros that are at the end of the number and the zeros that are between non-zero digits are significant. So, actually, pinahaba lang yung guidelines sa laboratory kasi natin, um, ano na, summarize na siya, no? So, we are still talking about the trailing zeros here. Na even if the, the given is less than one, but you have the decimal there, it is still counted as significant. So for example, 0 0.090, the leading zeros there are not significant. So we will count starting from 9. And then since you have their class a decimal point, so this is also counted as significant. So you have 0 0.090 kilograms. Meron yan siyang two significant figures. So ito naman, uh, we still have zeros here. The number is less than one, but the leading zeros are not still counted as significant. So we have one, two, three, four. Four significant figures here, including the zeros in between. And lastly, you have here another one. Again, the leading zeros are not counted. So we'll start at four. Two, and the zero here will be significant due to the presence of your decimal point. So trailing zeros yan siya na rule. Pero actually we have another rule here. Ito kasi for numbers that do not contain decimal points, the trailing zeros or yung zeros na nasa huli may or may not be significant. Yun talaga yung nasa rule class. Pwedeng significant, pwede ding hindi. But for us to be uniform, if, ang, uh, if meron tayong trailing zeros tapos wala tayong decimal point, let's not count it na lang as significant. Okay? Again, ang tandaan na lang ninyo, if we have like trailing zeros but we don't have the presence of the decimal point, let's not count them as significant. Kasi ang nasa rule, pwede siya significant, pwede din siya significant, pero dapat kasi ang gawin is gawin na lang, na lang siyang scientific notation. Again, ang rule, pag meron kang trailing zeros na walang decimal, pwede siya significant, pwede din hindi. Pero para maging clear kasi ang gagawin is gawin siyang scientific notation para mas ma-count natin yung ano ba talaga ang significant or not. Pero yung ano, pero ang gagawin natin, let us be uniform class na pag walang decimal, hindi natin siya i-count as significant. So sundin natin yung rule na natutunan natin sa laboratory. So let's do some exercise. Let's have the first one. So I'll be calling names to answer to answer this one. I'll be calling names so yung mga hindi ko pa masyado narinig yung bosses. Let's give them a chance to answer. So let's start with letter A. Sino ba dito yung hindi ko pa na hindi ko pa masyadong naririnig yung bosses? Wait lang. Let's have No, kaya. <laughs> Let's have first. Hira pala mamili. <laughs> Let's have first Rowie Jane. Are you here? 
Yes, ma'am. Okay, so what's the answer for letter A? Three po. Okay. Three significant figures. Sige, three significant figures. Kasi we have one, two, and three. They are all non-zero digits. So they are all considered as significant. Now, letter B. Ricky, Nerona, are you here? Ricky, can you hear me? Hola. <laughs> so let's have another person. Mm. Wait lang. Let's have oh. move, move kasi ang pangalan ba dire sa participants ng tanong ni. <laughs> Ang mga wapa ko kabati sa tingog. Angel. Angel na Arlos. What's the answer for letter B? Um, uh, three po. Okay, very good. This is also three because we have one and two and this is in between zero so it is counted. Okay, very good. We have so another sorry. Sina yung signal ko kanina. Pwede pa ako makaresite. Ah, sino yan? Ricky po. Ah, okay, Ricky. Sige, letter C. Three po. Okay, very good. This is also three, three significant figures. We have one, two, three. And this one is a leading zero that is not counted. Pag leading zeros again, not counted. Ayan. Now, we have Marie. Marie Piore, letter D. Can you hear me? Kani mga nagataas o kamot mang buntas na kayo ni siguro o ano, point sa recitation. Okay, Marie, we have two. Very good. So, again, the leading zeros are not included. So we will start here with five and two. That is why the correct answer is two. And lastly, let's have... How do I pronounce your name? Rizy? Rizy? <laughs> Rizy po, ma'am. Okay, Rizy. Letter E. This one is a scientific notation. Four po. Okay, four. Very good. So this is one, two, three, and four. So... The trailing zero here is significant kay meron tayong decimal point. Okay? Meron pa bang hindi uh, or na-confuse regarding sa rules natin sa significant figures? Or or nasabta na ni siya if I'll be giving you a, a quiz like you have to identify the number of significant figures. I think kaya na, no? Yes, ma'am. Okay, sige. So the next slide will just be the answers. So let's have the calculations for the significant figures. Let's have this one. Uh, review lang yung hapon class kay human naman puntaan ni sa lab. So number one, in addition and subtraction, the answer cannot have more than digits to the right of the decimal point than either of the original numbers. So to, to have it in simpler terms, pag mag-add daw tayo and mag-subtract, yung final answers, yung final answer natin will follow the least number of decimal point. Decimal point, I believe you know this very well. So just like this one, example number one, you have 89.332 plus 1.1. We'll just add them. We add lang nato. So we have 90.432. But the rule for addition is the final answer should follow the least number or the lesser number of decimal points. So pag first nga given, you have three 
decimals or decimal places and ang ikaduha nga given kay naa lang kay one decimal place. So dapat ang sundo nato ang pinakagamay. So mo ni siya ang one. So pag mag-round off na ka, 90.432 dapat ang mabili na lang sa final answer kay one decimal place. So taman lang kadirikla sa 90.4. But again, you have to consider the next digit kung mag-add ba ka o one or dili. So like 90.42 since this is 3, diba pag 1 to 4, no need ka mag-add sa last digit oh. na imuhang i-include. Pero pag 5 to 9, that's the time mag-add ka. So muna siya, 3 man na siya. So the final answer here is 90.4. Okay, now for the second one, this is class subtraction. Addition and subtraction follow the, the same rule. So 2.097 minus 0.12. So this will be an easy one, a simple operation sa subtraction. Pero kailangan na to i-follow ang rules ni significant figures. So ang first nga given na siya ay 3 decimal places. And then, ang second na given kay duha. So, ang pinakagamay sa ilang duha is syempre kaning 2. Now, the answer here is 1.977. Pero kailangan ang final answer kay duha na lang ka decimal places. So, we have 1, 9, and 7. Tama lang dapat ka diri. Pero, you need to consider the next digit. So, you have 7 there. Napasok siya sa 5 to 9, which means mag plus 1 ka din he. Meaning nga na, the final answer should be 1.98. Okay? That's the rule for the addition. So, any question about this? Kasi nag-quiz ta sa laboratory and I think may uban dito wala nakabawi sa second na quiz. Murag nakalimot sa rule sa significant figures. Anyone na na-confuse pa, Ani? So, JM, pangutana ng imo, ipangutana kay Ma. Oh, JM. Ay, <laughs> na sa, ah, Billy, oy, nakasabot mo ko. Explain ka nila ako sa ilaha pang Batihara. <laughs> okay, nakasabot ka, JM. Ganun gina, ganun gina iro ninyo na si JM. <laughs> sa mukha. Ma'am, ang tinuot. Ma'am, siya man, si sige, kiro-iro sa mukha, ma'am. Ma'am, 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 kapag addition ang pinag-addition, ma'am, ang gayahon, ang pinakataas. Pinakagamay. Pinakagamay. Pinakagamay na ano, decimal point. Addition or subtraction. Pinakagamay. Parehas aning sa first na example, the first given, tatlo iyahang decimal places. Ang second na given, isa lang. So, ang imuhang i-follow sa imong final answer, yung pinakagamay, kaning isa lang. Muna nga ang final answer niya kay 90.4. Okay? Sige. Anything else? Oh, nabaliktad. Okay. So, don't forget ha, pag addition and subtraction, ang decimal places ang ginakount. Tapos, ang final answer will follow the list, okay? Ang pinakagamay nga decimal places nga naa sa given. So, I hope klaro na siya para pag mag-quiz na next week kay dili na magmali. So, this one is just class A reminder that when you round off, Moni, pwede akong ginaingon. Um... You have to consider the next digit. So to round off a number at a certain point, we simply drop the digits that follow if the first of them is less than five. So just like this one, eight point seven two four. Pag two decimal places na lang class ang final answer. Shempre i drop na to ning last nga digit. So let me write on the screen. So again, the goal here is two decimal places na lang. So we have to drop the four. Um, pero we need to consider it whether mag-add ta ug one there is a next na digit or not. Pero again, pag less than five, dili naman ka kailangan 
mag-add. So, muna siya. Simply, we will just write the 8.72. Pero pag ang next nga digit is more than 5, 5 pataas, that's the time class mag-add ta ug 1. So, parehas ani, mag-round off ta ani ng mga examples into two decimal places. So, like 8.727, taman lang dapat sa 2, kay 2 decimal man ang ato ang goal. But, we need to consider the next one. This is 7, so it's more than 5. That is why mag plus 1 tadiri sa next na digit. That becomes now 8.73. That's the final answer. So I believe you are very familiar with the rounding off of numbers. So we have another one here, two decimal places gihapon na to ang goal. So we have 4 and 2, but the next digit is 5. So need na to mag plus 1. So we have 0 0.43. Again ha, pag lesser than 5, dili na mag-add as is na ni 8.72. Mag-add lang ta if the next digit is 5 or more than 5. Those are just reminders sa pag round off sa ato ang numbers. Now, let's move on to the multiplication and division. So, what is our rule here for the multiplication and division? The number of significant figures in the final product or quotient is determined by the original number that has the smallest number of significant figures. So, what does it mean? Pag mag-multiply do ta or pag mag-divide ta, the final answer will be rounded off. I-round off na to siya following the least number in the given na significant figure. So we have this example here. Let me rewrite it. We have 2.8 times 4.503. Nine. Okay? Oni siya ang ato ang given. Now, we can use, we can always use our calculators here. So, 2.8 times 4.5039. So, that will become now 12.61092. Pero this is multiplication. And say rule na to sa multiplication, you round off na to atong final answer following the least significant figure sa given. So, mo na siyang time nga mag bilang ta o significant figure sa atong mga given. Significant figures ha, not decimal places. So, for the first na given, you have one, two. You have two significant figures here. For the second one, we have one, two, three, four, five. We have five significant figures for the second na given. So, ang zero ha, included na kay in between zero man na siya. Now, say mas gamay sa ilaha, syempre ang two significant figures. Meaning, pag mag-round off na ta sa ato ang answer, dapat two significant figures na lang sad ang mabilin. So, mag-count ta class. We have one, two. So, tama lang din hi class ang significant figures pero sa that's final that's me now that's <laughs> that okay tama lang ta diri sa 2 pero di ba ingon ko kailangan i-consider ang next na digit whether mag-add ta og 1 or dili now the, the next digit is 6 that's more than 5 so mo na nga mag plus 1 ka din hi which means the final answer here is 13. That's how you do it pag sa multiplication. So tama na ni siya kay ang 13 naman na siya duha ka significant figures. Nag-follow na siya sa rule na to. Ni question class sa multiplication. So dali ra kay mag-multiply, usahay dito na ta maglibog sa pag-round of sa final answer sa pag-follow sa significant figures. Do not forget that ha. So let's have another one. This time we'll have the division. So for the division, we have an example on the screen. 
we have 6.85 divided by 112.04. So, i-divide lang na to. We can use, we can always use our calculators here. Kaya mo rin, lugay kay tamahuman kung everything will be done manually. So, 6.85 divided by 112.04. Is medyo mahaba na zero point zero six one one three eight eight seven eight. So sa akong kalkyo taman lang siya eight. Siguro sa ilahang kalkyo na pasay nine. But anyway, well that's okay. Kaya maground off mantas at ng final answer. So ang atong division class parehas siya grul sa multiplication. Kailangan nato bilangon ang significant figures sa bawat given. Tapos i-follow na to ang pinakagamay nga significant figures. So duha ka po katong given. Sa itong first given, we have one, two, three. So dapat daw ang na ay, uh, ang, ang first one di ay na ay three significant figures. Tapos ang second na given, you have one, two, three, four, five. So, five significant figures na siya. This one is included ha kay in between na siya. Wait lang. Patsin ang kiko. Let us let us continue. So, among the two, syempre, ang mas gamay ang three significant figures, which means dapat ang ato ang final answer, three lang po na significant figures. So kung tanawo na to, this is not significant. This is not also significant. So we will start our, our counting here. So this is one, two, and three. So dira taman class ang ato ang counting. We will see the next digit. It's three. So no need to add. Need to sa previous na digit. So ang atong answer ani 0 0.06111. Ah, sorry. Oh uh, yeah. Tama lang ta sa 1. 0 0.0611. Kung i-check na to, kung tulog yun ba na siya ka significant figures, syempre di ba dili man ni sila counted. Pero appeal na sila sa pagsulat sa answer ha. So we have one, two, three. So yes, our final answer is following the rule. Kay na shy three significant figures. Okay. Okay, sige Jendi. Any question with this one? As the pit din hiyang wala na sabtan. Hindi ra kayo mo manguta na class kung wala mo kasabot. Para before ta mag-quiz o mag-exam, kaya na. Wala, wala yung panguta na. So do not forget ha, number one, pag addition or subtraction, inyong final answer should have the least, least number of decimal places. Pero pag multiplication or division, dapat least number of significant figures. That's how you do it. Tagaan tamog another example. Okay. Sige daw. Let's try. Uh, please send your answer sa chat. This is multiplication here. Okay. Sige. So let's see if tama na yung answer. Let's do the calculation using a calculator. Siyempre. 
So we have 8.710 times 0 0.93. We have here, let me write it. According to calculator, the answer is 8.1003. This is multiplication. So the final answer should follow the lesser number of significant figures. So let's check kung pila ka significant figures ang mga given na to. So we have one, two, three, four. Four significant figures. Zero is included ha kay na decimal point. Now how about this? This is a leading zero so it's not counted. Dirita mag-start. One. So, the second given has two significant figures. So, so i-follow na to. Siyempre, kane. Okay, mas gamay man siya. Two significant figures. So, let us count in the answer. We have one. This is counted. And this is two. So, kaman lang ka dapat din ha. Pero let's check the next digit whether mag-add ta og one din hi or dili. So, this is zero. Meaning, ana? Dili na ta mag-add. Therefore, ang correct answer class kay 8.1. So, kanin siya na siya ay two significant figures. Yan, let me check. 8.1, yes, very good. Your, answers are, your answer is 8.1. Oops, na nakalimot na nag-answer og 8.10. Pag 8.10 na siya class, 3 significant figures na na siya. So, wala na na siya nag-follow sa rule. Okay? Kahit 2 lang, 2 man na itong pinakagamay din hi. So, dapat, duha lang po ka significant figures ang mabilin. So, ayaw kalimot ha? Ayaw kalimot. Pag 8.10 na siya, meaning 3 significant figures na na siya. Wala na na nag-follow sa 2 ang rule. Okay? Nakuha na? Any question? None po, ma'am. Okay. So, let's move on. We have accuracy and precision. Nag-istorya na punta ani sa laboratory. When you say accuracy class, um, this refers to how close our measurement is to the true value. Okay, naman yun na siya'y tinuod nga value class. And if we are asked to do an experiment to measure something, makaingon lang ta og accurate ang ato ang nahimong measurement if duol siya sa true value. So okay, so like 16 ml, mauna ang tinuod nga volume sa isa ka liquid niya gi measure ni mo siya if imo ang answer kay 16.8 that is not accurate already kay dili na na siya considered na duol dito sa 16 ml that's how strict we are in, uh, when it comes to measurement in chemistry laboratory matawag lang na siya accurate pag duol gyud siya sa 16 like 16.01 Tung -tung na na siya, 16.5, 16.4. That is actually not accurate anymore. That is far from the true value. Pero pag may kag precision sa chemistry kasi na laboratory, when we do measurements, we don't really measure something na kaisa lang. So, ulit-ulito na nato siya ug measure. Meaning nga na daghan ta ug data. Na matawag lang na atong data ug precise if silang tanan are close with each other. Meaning they they agree with one another. So, parehas lang na siya class sa nag ano, ang illustration per mi ang precision and accuracy is muratag nagdula ug dart. So, syempre, kanang naasa ko nga, the bull's eye, that will be considered as the true value. And when you hit that bull's eye, it means your data is accurate. Again, your data is accurate if you hit that bull's eye. So, just like this one. So, naasa sa bull's eye. So, that is why there is high accuracy here. And this can be considered as high accuracy also because most of the data falls in the ball. Uh, most of the data fall in the bull's eye. But 
um, kanin na mga wala gyud na hit ang bulls ay dili gyud sila close to the true value then they are not accurate okay now how about the precision i told you na sa chemistry we don't do the measurement once only we measure it Um, repeatedly. So, pwedeng katatlo, pwedeng kalima, depende sa ina-require. So, matawag lang na siya na precise if the data is, the data are close with each other. So, so sample number one, they are not really close with each other. That is why kung nakita ninyo, we have low precision here. That's the same thing with this one because most of the data fall in the bullseye, which is considered as the true value. When we get the mean or the average here, most likely the average will be close to the true value. But this is not precise because you have data there na medyo malayo from each other. And this one, though this is not accurate because we don't hit the bullseye here, pero your data are close with each other. So, we can call this as precise. Pero dili accurate. Any ang ato ang gusto class. When we do measurements in the chemistry laboratory, what we want to get is high, uh, high ang accuracy and at the same time, high po ang precision. I hope dili na ninyo i-interchange na o gamit na word. So, hi, manggod mo yung nga. Yes, accurate akong data. Or yes, precise akong data. You should know kung kanus anin yun na gamiton na mga terms. Accuracy kung duol siya sa true value, pero precision kung we have uh, a lot of data and then they are close with each other. Okay? So I think that ends our discussion for the measurements. Any question with this? Asa ah, dapit din hiyang wala na sabtan. Wala na. Uh, yes, Natasha. Uh, accuracy and precision, mga like unsa ang range dapat kung how close siya sa number. Okay, uh, actually, depende siya sa ginahimo ng measurement. So, for example, most of our examples kay na siya sa volume, no? Pag volume mang good ta, dapat naalang na siya kung 16 ang ako ang ginaingo. Naalang po na siya sa 16 to 16.1 or 15.9 to 16 nga data. More than that, we cannot call it accurate anymore. Okay. Ano man, accuracy man yun ang ato ang gina, tanaw. Um, Pag-abot sa chemistry, we are very strict with that. So, ang allowed na to, 16.01 hangtod 16.1. Or pwede na po siya mas baba sa 16, like 15.9 and in between. Accurate pa na siya matawag. Pero pag mulampas na na siya beyond those numbers, we consider it not accurate anymore. Mag-low na iyahang accuracy. Pero wala din ha ang precision ha. Ang precision mong good kay sa data ni mo kung they are close to each other. Yeah, pag 16.2, we don't consider it accurate anymore. Okay, Pamat. Thank you, ma'am. Okay. That's how strict we are sa chemistry ha, sa laboratory. Kailangan good accurate ang data. Anything else? Wala na. So let's 